Hello and welcome to this video. This is Catrix and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at hmm what was it again? Oh yes, measurement. So in Fusion 360, um, there is a tool called measurement which you can find under inspect measure. And well it's useful for some things. You can actually do a lot of the things that you would probably go to this to do just by clicking vertexes. So if you don't know, this is a vertex. So, or this, or you can select this line, for example. So I'm just gonna show you that first before we go into that tool. So let's say we want to know the length of this line here. We just click it and look in the bottom right corner. So this is 10.23 millimeter. So we can actually get the radius of this by clicking on this uh, line to tell us five so we know the diameter must be you know if you know anything to do with basic maths then you know it's mm, let me think mm, okay i'm okay all right uh, yeah that's obviously uh 10 mil so if you want to know this it doesn't really tell us the length but it'll tell us the radius um what you can also do is select multiple points by holding control or shift and then clicking them too. So we can we can do, say, from here to here. We get the minimum distance. So what that means is it's basically if you to draw a straight line from these two points, it's the minimum distance between those points. And obviously that's what we want. So it's uh, 30 millimeters. Perfect. So we can do from here to here. And that gives us a minimum distance of 16.821 millimeters. So, yeah. So now I'm going to show you the inspect tool. So if we go to inspect measure or use the shortcut key I, which I usually do use. I'm just going to turn it off for now. Uh, okay. So basically what we need to do is select two points. So we've clicked on our first point, so it's selection one, and then we select the next point, and that gives us selection two. And it also shows you like the exact position in space that is, and it will give you the distance. So if this is not completely straight, sometimes you get this x, y, delta come up, um, which is not very useful in this circumstance. But if we do it, let's go through and... Uh, uh, at angle so this point to this point and turn on x y delta we can see that we get this sort of like uh, x and y component of this uh, right triangle so obviously before this was the hypotenuse or uh, the shortest path to uh, the next point but say we want to know the components so the uh, what do you call this again? The uh, adjacent and the opposite, assuming this is the uh, reference angle. This gives us 16.5 and 16.5 millimeter for that. Um, yeah, so if you want to do a new selection, what you need to do is select restart selection. So it's click this button here. So now we are able to do some more. Um, also, I just want to note that I've never used these two, um, so I, I I guess I can't really say much about that because I use this one, which is automatically selected by default. Um, so, yeah, pretty much just I've never found a use for these two. It must be one, actually, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get some points that are not currently available for you to use say I want to know mm, like in the middle of this line to here and or oh, okay the middle line and the mid to this middle of this line what I can do to get some more points available to me is to use show snap points and uh, check that so now if we hover about we can see that we've got a hell of a lot more points to choose from so we're going to choose this one here and we're going to use this one here. We don't need to hold control when we're doing it using the measure tool. 
So this tells us, and let's just turn this off, it's not very useful anymore. Uh, this tells us the distance is 19.77 millimeters. So let's say you want to use that in a calculation or you need to, I don't know, write it down or something. What you can do is just click on these, uh, any of these to copy to the clipboard. That's much more convenient than having to, I don't know, look back and forth. Like, uh, was it 19.77? And imagine if this was a a really long winded uh, decimal, uh, you know, like 15 figures or something. Uh, that would be quite annoying. So just clicking and you can control V it somewhere. So you can see we control V it here. So yeah. Um, it's kind of really, that's really kind of it with the measure tool, at least for the way I use it. Um, so yeah, you can also probably get the diameter and radius of this circle. And you get like things like the center position, things I don't really use, but these are, these are quite useful. So if I'm correct, I believe the length is the circumference of this circle. Um, yeah, so that would be uh, ID. So 3.4, sorry, 3.14 times the diameter, and that should give you three. 31.416. I hope that helped. Um, it's really useful tool, the the measure tool. I use it a lot. Um, say if I make, say if I've extruded this, um, I'm gonna just make it in a new document. So let's say I created a. Uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly rush this. I'm not even gonna like define it properly. Let's just make this uh, five. Make sure you spell it incorrectly. So if you click on here and we make a cylinder, it really doesn't matter. I'm not even I'm not even going to define the dimensions here. Um, OK, that was a bit puny. Let's put something like I'm not even going to look at the keyboard. OK, it's something crazy. I don't even know what that was. I can use the measure tool by hitting I or we can go back here. Select this rim, select this bottom rim, and now I know that this random amount that I typed in is actually 283 millimeter. So now I can be like, oh, I didn't want it 283. So I can, I wanted it 280. So I can just go minus three and then press I, select this top face, doesn't really matter. And this bottom point here, 280. Of course, you could also go to this and uh, not this one. You could also go to this one and modify it here because it's a par parametric um, modeler, I guess, fusion. So yeah, you could. It's probably better to do that. I wouldn't. In reality, I would try and minimize the amount of uh, features that you create because I just think it's good practice to not gum up your entire timeline with stupid uh like extra features where you could just edit the original feature so i wouldn't do that i would delete that and keep it go to 280 so now we don't have an extra feature so in the future when we have thousands of or well not thousands but maybe several hundreds of features we don't need to go mental searching for the right one so we keep it as minimal as possible. So yeah, that's really it with the, the measurement tool, um, at least in the way I use it. So uh, yeah, I hope that helps and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Or if you found it horrendous, please feel free to insult me in the comments. And while you're here, don't forget to check out the previous video, if you haven't already, and the next video. Catch you in the next one.